Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, Gigi's down there um, playing with her ball, so that's that growling noise that you hear. Anyway, um, I was doing some thinking, and I came up with this sort of idea that I thought needed to be explored. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a little personal, but I'll tell you how it came about. I was running around my underwear earlier today, and I caught a glimpse of my backside in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, oh no. And uh, that's not the first time that that's happened. But then I, I looked at that, then I looked at my reaction, my, oh no. And I'm like, that's not a normal, natural reaction. And when I look around here at the folks in Italy, they don't have that reaction. You go to the beach here in Italy and even the older ladies who, you know, uh, have a few pounds on them, they're all in bikinis running around, small bikinis, you know? And, and I always looked at that and thought, oh, I would love to have that viewpoint where I just didn't mind if people saw my body like that and whatnot. And I thought, you know what, that viewpoint has to actually be cultivated in us because what we're doing is undoing years of indoctrination of your body must look like this. You must weigh 120 pounds at 5'7", which I did at one time. I was a bone rack back then. Um, and I will not do that again because I have an older body now and it doesn't look good at 120. So all of these things, the, the plastic surgery, you have to have a face that looks this way. You have to have a body that looks this way. That viewpoint is kind of not really what I'm seeing here. What I see here is a focus on strength, wellness, acceptance, and there's not the idea, and this is the nut the truth nut that I always go for, there's not the idea that there's something wrong with your body that if it looks a certain way. Because in our culture in America, at least for me, because I was sort of always in the public eye, I was playing in bands, I was dancing, I was doing all these things, so there was a lot of attention on the body. And with all that comes the idea that if there's something wrong with your body and the way it looks, there's something wrong with you. And that is not true. And in fact, Let's flip that around. And instead of saying there's something wrong with the body, let's just say the body is what it is and everything is right with the body. Like I know my butt is not gonna look like a 20 year old's butt. I mean, most of the time when I see it in the mirror, it's gonna look like a badly formed bread pudding. But I don't recoil in horror when I see a badly formed bread pudding. So I don't think I should recoil in horror or have that sense of shame when I see a body part in the mirror that doesn't correspond to Us Weekly or whatever uh, magazine we have that tells us how we're supposed to look. I think from now on we decide how we're supposed to look. And frankly, I'm going to go on the assumption that everything is right with my body, that it's absolutely perfect, that it looks great always, and I'm going to buy a bikini, gosh darn it, and I'm going to wear that darn thing, and I'm going to swim in it, and I'm going to enjoy it with the rest of the Italian ladies who have had children, who like to eat their pasta, who enjoy life for what it is, without so much attention on the body. I think that's a real secret to happiness here in Italy and in America. If we can counter the cultural indoctrination that there's something wrong with your body and something wrong with you if it doesn't look a certain way. So let's take that viewpoint. Let's take it for a week. Everything's right with my body. It's perfect. I love it the way it is. It's healthy. And aside from a few conditions which are easily managed, I'm okay. So there you go. There's my tip for the day. I've got more properties coming up. Belvedere Maritimo. So stay tuned for those because they're going to be awesome. And I'm going to check out a beautiful house down in the flats in Santa Dominica Talao today. There will be video there too. So anyway, there you go, guys. Um, buy your bikinis and come on over. I'll see ya.